Welcome to a new video and in this video we want to take a look at one of the most popular smartphones right now in China and it's a big comeback for this company it's the Honor 50. So let's get started. So this is the packaging as you can see here Honor 50 we can see here in Chinese on a 50 because this is the Chinese model it's not yet available uh, for the European market and I'm not sure if it will be anyway I thought just let's buy it and take a look so let's unbox it so first of all what we get is sim ejector tool we get some paperwork as well as a nice uh, soft TPU case so let's take it out as you can see here this is all what you can get in terms of paper in China, which is pretty nice. So it just tells you it has NFC, tells you about the design a little bit, power button and volume on um, up and down button, and the option how you can listen to music with a USB type C dongle. And that is basically it, a QR code for the manual if you need some more information. And this is the TPU case, typical TPU case, one of the cheaper ones, but it has a nice texture to it here. Uh, which should be very grippy and that's basically it as you can see this is empty the only other thing that you get in the box is a 66 watt charger this is the Chinese model that I have here right now but it has 66 watt USB type C and of course you will get also USB type C to a cable so then we get a nice uh, other card here probably for warranty and the possibility to get some help and then packaged up here is the phone in double wrapping as you can see here and what we can see directly is the uh, gorgeous uh, screen of 6.57 inch and some of you might have asked why did i get the honor 50 instead of the honor 50 pro which the pro level should be like higher than this model no it is basically the Honor 50 Pro. The only difference is instead of a single punch hole camera like this one has a single punch hole camera here. Let's turn the device on. You can see there's a single punch hole camera. Instead of one, it has like the pilt cut out there. It has a 6.7 inch screen and yeah, a second wide angle, super wide angle lens on the front. That's basically everything. The specs are the same. So Snapdragon 778 is inside of here, eight gigabytes of RAM and you get like the gorgeous 6.57 inch screen with uh, 1080p resolution stretched of course and we have 128 gigabytes of memory here there's also a variant with 256 gigabytes and uh, even 256 and 12 gigabytes of ram otherwise on the back we have cameras and these look gorgeous just take a look at this design it's like the snow design when i was seeing this in the review not in the review, in the uh, presentation, the announcement, I was like, ah, this is so ugly, this is only for Asia. But now having it here uh, really in hands, I think it looks pretty nice and awesome, as you can see here. And also the camera bump, it's sticking out a little bit, as you can see, but not so substantial. And it looks pretty awesome as well. This is the main camera lens here, which has 108 megapixel sensor underneath f1.9 and uh, one over 1. Point, one over 1.52 inch sized sensor so very very big sensor with face detection autofocus then here we have it's not one camera lens this is these are three camera lenses as well as some um, uh, other focusing things i think assist lights and the LED flashlight. So we have three lenses. The one main lens here is the 8 megapixel ultra wide angle 17 millimeter f2.2 120 degrees lens. And the other ones are a 2 megapixel depth and 2 megapixel macro sensor with f2.4. So basically, you can forget about them. LED flashlight. And yeah, this is the Honor 50. What do we have here? Volume rocker, power button as well. As you can see here, pretty nice and awesome. Uh, tactile, no problems with clicking here. The front-facing camera here is a 32 megapixel f2.2, 1 over 3.14 inch sized sensor, which I think should 
deliver good results but we will take a look at the camera uh, later what we have here is usb type c 2.0 with a microphone here secondary microphone here and this is an infrared blaster and we have also the possibility to put in two nano sim cards dual sim nano sims only so there's no uh, expandability on the memory itself only two nano sims can fit in here look at this gorgeous design from Mona here it looks a little bit like its uh, former sister company's new product but it is very very gorgeous here with this design when I was lo looking at this and the presentation in the launch event I thought hmm might be too glamorous might be not my style but this looks really really awesome and to protect this i will use the included case so let's take a look how this will fit oh it fits nicely it's a very thin device as you can see here it doesn't have cutouts even though it looks like cutouts this is really like these are plastic buttons here of the tpu case the camera bump is yeah it's slightly protected by the case itself case lets in the beautiful light here to see the back doesn't have any opening here just a small branding of honor here and it has a fairly good opening here for the usb type c port microphone not for the sim eject tool but for the single speaker here so there's only single speaker so even though the uh, screen over the screen we have another speaker here the earpiece it's not used as secondary speaker for stereo effect or something like this what you saw already is the always on screen which is not always on it's just like on redmi note 10 devices just on for a few seconds but we have an in display fingerprint scanner to unlock the device but i can also unlock the device with my mark so my face let's put it here my face is there and as you can see it's unlocking fine Let's come to the software. What we have here running is the Magic UI in version 4.2, which is based upon Android 11, which is very interesting, as you can see here. And it has a fairly new security update patch of 1st of June 2021. Okay, two months behind, but still okay. And we can see a brand new kernel version 5.4. It's, it's a lot newer than on other Honor or Huawei devices. Uh, why I'm talking about Huawei so much? Because there is a lot of Huawei influence still see seeable or feelable on the device itself. It's the Magic UI, which is basically a fork of Emotion UI. You have Huawei Assistant here, which allows you to configure the uh, Yo-Yo Assistant from Honor. We have uh, various different options in here. And we have lots of Huawei device uh, programs still here, just like, for example, the main app store, which is the app gallery, which is simply the Huawei app gallery. You can go in here, I have my German one in here. And uh, you also can use your Huawei account to sync up with your other Huawei devices as well. So the Honor has its own ID system as well. So you can have your own ID. I didn't see any cloud system yet, so probably they just started splitting off this ID system. Um, but uh, everything else is still Huawei and you can use your Huawei account and Huawei cloud stuff. And I, as you can see, have lots and lots of programs just synced up the um, we, via the phone clone app, my other device uh, with this Honor phone, which worked without any issues. And all the other things, just like, for example, if I go down here, you can see we have Honor Share instead of Huawei Share, but it works the same way as Huawei Share. And I can use it even to um, simply transfer files, pictures and videos over from one phone to this phone or from this phone to another Huawei phone with this Honor Share, which is basically Huawei Share. So nothing much has changed here yet. When it comes to this is the only app store, the app gallery, you can see Google here, but Google services should arrive on the Honor 50, but are not there. And if you get the Chinese variant, just like I did here, there are no Google Play services on board. So just installing the Google Play Store doesn't work. It will complain about the Play services missing. You can try Google Fire like I did here. It works and you can get the Play Store running, but certain applications will not run like Google Maps will complain about this device not being Google certified and some other applications as well. So what I did is have a third party 
like GSpace, which runs fine. It creates a virtual Google certified environment where it's emulating a P30 or Honor 30 or another device that has Google Play services. And I can just simply use the Play Store from here to install my favorite applications. You saw maybe as well that I have here some of the Google apps as well, like Gmail, YouTube, YouTube Studio, Google Maps, Drive, and so on. So I can use them as well, like for example, Google News, and it's opening. It takes sometimes a while to go into this. Um, it's not a virtual environment. It's just like um, a container environment, and it's a bit slow to start those applications. But when they're in memory, the eight gigabytes of memory are usually kept pretty nicely. The screen is nice and bright, as you can see here. It has a slight edge here. There's a screen protector, uh, as you might see here around the camera. There's a screen protector going over the edge. So also the, 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 the case is nicely done. So you don't have like issues like swiping left or right to go back or something like this. So this is pretty much working very fine. Multi-window support is here as well. So I can open up files, for example, in this little window. I have options here to resize it as you can see and to minimize it as you can see so the newest also emotion ui like features are available here on the uh, magic ui there's some changes to emotion ui's uh, default behavior so what you can do is here i have a little arrow here i can press on this to scan all the other wi-fi's and directly connect to one of the wi-fi's so, so this is possible here and these are basically all the big changes of uh, magic ui and overall system fluidity fluidity is also a good thing to address because under display settings and refresh rate we have 120 hertz refresh rate which is pretty good and pretty cool of honor to include here it's an amoled display but doesn't have the always on screen being staying always on you have an always on display here but it is turning off itself you can tap to show you can have scheduled or all day so if you have all day it should not turn off itself if you configure it like, like this but by default it is like set to tap to show to preserve the battery otherwise the battery runs out a bit quicker because i think the amoled screen is not saving so much energy in this mode but you have all the theming support that you would expect from an Honor or Huawei device. So this is pretty nice and awesome. The battery is a 4,000, what is it? 4,300 milliampere hours battery. And this should last you a lot. It has 66 watt fast charging with the Snapdragon 778G. So this should work fine as well. And as you can see here, yeah, this is running pretty fluid and pretty nice. I have all my apps installed that I would usually install here there are some crappy wear software things like the chinese software here that you can just remove if you don't like it there's the uh, huawei video that is not supported with uh, countries outside of china so if your huawei account is outside of china or you um, yeah you have to download the huawei uh, video player from the app gallery of your country and this one is working fine and uh, you can go into settings and under apps and i think default apps and more defaults you can set under video uh, from the default video player to huawei video so it will open up in this video player and then it's working nicely just like on any other huawei or honor device so this is my first impression and look at the software of the honor 50 what we will do right now is take a look at the camera so the camera software is very familiar we have an ai mode here we have a photo mode portrait mode we have a night mode we have an aperture mode uh, some explanations as well video mode we can go up in video mode to 4k and i think it is 30 frames per second exactly and you have 60 frames per second in 1080p that you can go to and we have also 21 by 9 1080p which is pretty awesome which can also go up to 60 frames per second so this is the things that you can set up here on this device it doesn't have ois as far as i'm aware it's just electronic image stabilization we want to take a look at the videos and uh, some photos of this device as a first quick look there will be of course a nice little video 
or a camera review that I will do that will be more uh, extensive than this little first look. Uh, so this is now a video and vlogging test with the Honor 50's uh, front-facing camera. It's recording in 1080p. I think this is the maximum that you can go with this device. This is the stabilization. Um, although it doesn't have an ultra-wide angle lens, you have the possibility to digitally crop into it. And I'm in the ultra-wide right now and I can go into the one times, which is uh, yeah, the default one. I think and the ultra wide angle looks like this as you can see I have my microphone attached so it should work without any issues on the device itself and I don't have to forget to take a look at the camera itself so this is what you can get in terms of quality audio quality video quality and yeah also the stabilization and now this is the back facing the main cameras a video the 108 megapixel 1 over 1.52 inch sized sensor so very large sensor so you should see a nice background blur if it focuses nicely on my face and yeah this is the quality that you can expect at 1080p 30 frames per second during the recording it's not possible to switch to the ultra wide angle lens which is a bit of a bummer i would say but this is the ultra wide angle 8 megapixel lens you can see in this darker conditions maybe not as good as the 108 megapixels main sensor but this one i think for you know, vlogging i think it's okay does it have autofocus though let's see put like a key or something in front of it i doubt it because it's a yeah, mid-range phone and they don't usually uh, put autofocusing wide angle cameras in there how wide is the angle what do you think about the colors and stabilization uh, one of the cool things that you can do with this camera is multi video feature so where i use the front facing camera and i can use the back facing camera so you can see where i'm going i think dynamic range is also working quite nice on the back side camera it's a bit bumpy here uh, and the even I think the camera here on the front this camera here is working nicely as well uh, what I can do is also switch between different camera modes I have to look at the screen for this so I can go into this kind of mode where you can see a zoomed in shot I can even zoom in more five times and also I can switch to the uh, front only all during recording which is pretty nice and yeah this is i think a very nice feature and i can also do this here where you can see me myself in a small window and you can see the back in uh, the big window and yeah again this this kind of shot and these are i think all shots that you have here so front and back and you can pause as well if you want to yeah i think for vlogging not bad not bad um yeah the the possibility to switch between the front and back camera i think is one of the major things uh, what i wish was be like to have the possibility to do it a bit more easily let's check out if i can do this so let's go to the front camera here Yes, and now I don't have to go to the menu. I have just a nice little button to switch to the back camera to see people running here or driving. And I can switch back. So multi-camera mode is also working. And yeah, it's a nice little feature on the uh, brand new Honor 50. All in all, this is my first look of the Honor 50, the unboxing and first look of the Honor 50. What do you think about this device? Should Huawei, nee, Honor, release it here in Europe as well with Google Play services? Would it be something, a super mid-range device that could compete with uh, Xiaomi devices? Just write it down in the comment section. Also write down in the comment section if you have some questions about the device. Otherwise, like, share and subscribe. And until the next time, bye.